So you've taken a great selfie, but all of a sudden you look at the picture and Mr. or Mrs. Double Chin has got in there. Let's remove those with generative fill in the Photoshop beta. I have three examples, left, right, and center on. What is this? Too many Doritos. We got a great picture here, this little family here, but the lady wanted her little double chin removed from the left-hand side, so let's get on it. Zoom in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Quick Mask first. So Q for Quick Mask, B for your brush. Let's size your brush. Make sure your flow's at 100%. Now, let's just go in here along the jawline and a little bit of the skin underneath. Q, Control shift i invert the selection, go up to Generative Fill and hit Remove. We have three different versions. I like the first one, it looks great. All right, here we go. Another great picture of the girl liked the way she looked, but she'd still like to have the little double chin removed from the right hand side this time. So let's zoom in. And Q for the quick mask, B for your brush. Make the brush appropriate size. And let's just go grab a little bit of the skin and go along the jawline. Q, Control Shift I to invert the selection. Go up to Generative Fill and type Remove. And there we go. Our three options. Again, I like the first one. Looks good. All right, this time we're going to attack the double chin that's in the center. Got a great picture here of this handsome-looking Viking, but he doesn't want the double chin. So let's zoom in. Q for the quick mask. Make sure your brush is the appropriate size. And let's just draw it in here. Q, Control shift i to invert the selection. Let's go up to Generative Fill and hit Remove. And just like that, the double chin is removed and the handsome Viking's looking great. Cool stuff. Well, there you have it. Your picture's the best they can be. If this video helped you at all, give me a like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm done from 409 one